Hello everybody, this is a key shot related video demo. In design related works, it is often useful to have a human figure being included into the 3D render for ergonomics as well as product usage and referencing purposes. And in this CAD tutorial and demo, I would like to show an easy way of including a free human figure for key shot visualization and rendering purposes. Okay, let's start. The first thing that we need to do is to install an open source human character creation program called Make Human. From Google, I type Make Human. and manage to search it to its website which is uh, makehumancommunity.org and next we need to download the appropriate uh, version of it for our OS and for my case I'm going to use the Windows OS now that we have it installed and running let's start by creating our human figure To rotate the viewport, press and hold the left mouse button to zoom, scroll using the middle scroll wheel. To pan the viewport, press and hold the middle mouse button. The first thing you want to do is to set the gender at the main tab and I set mine to be male by pulling the gender parameter all the way to the extreme right okay if you push it to the left you will get a female character additionally other parameters such as the age and racial appearance can also be tweaked now let's head over to the geometry tab for further tweaking let's give it some kind of settings like clothes which you can easily do so by clicking on the icon on the right and proceeding to add the hair by selecting it at the right selection options and let's give it an eyebrow we need to have all these are uh, set up before we can export uh, our model so now um, I need to give it a material so let's use a middle age Asian male let's proceed to give it a pose we have many poses to choose from like flying standing which is very useful for ergonomic referencing and then we have um, things like sitting i think i want to use this posture okay so let's give it some expression by clicking on expression tab angry <laughs> disgust <laughs> boring <sighs> let's give it a determined look okay i think this looks good okay and once we are done with the setting we can proceed to bring it up by exporting it in an appropriate format okay we need to export it to film box or fbx format okay so i'm going to click the film box option for mesh format and then give it a name in an appropriate directory so I give it a name called post one okay and to export click the export button and the FBX and its appropriate uh, and relevant textures will be exported 
Okay, so now let's head over to Keyshot and to get the image in, we can go to File Import. And select the FBX. Yeah, now he's in. And you notice that he is more or less fully textured. But there are some additional tweaking that we need to do. Especially to those textures that have uh, transparency information. Okay, in this case here is the hair and the eyebrow. So what I'm going to do is... Um, do some further material tweaking starting with the hair so I'm going to right mouse click edit material over the hair go to the texture tab and you notice that we already have this color opacity channel uh, being assigned to appropriate texture so click the blend with color click on the colors option and go to the color picker and click on the area that is uh, close to the hair fringe. This will allow the picking of the colors that is closer to the skin at that area. Okay, And you might want to do a bit of fine adjustment to brightness or contrast. Okay. We need to do the same for the eyebrow. So right clicking over it, I go to edit material. Okay. And click on the color channel. And we do the same thing. Go to the color picker. And pick on a region that is close to the eyebrow so that we can uh, integrate the color better make sure that the blend with color option is enabled okay now what i want to do is to remove the make human logo from the t-shirt and let's head over to an image editor in this case here i'm using affinity photo and open up the image map of the t-shirt and I'm going to remove that using the in paint. If you are using Photoshop, you might want to use the content aware features such as the content aware field. Okay. So uh, I'm going to use the in-paint brush tool in Affinity Photo to remove the logo. Okay. Once done, we can save our file and head over to Keyshot again. And let's do a right mouse click over the T-shirt and go to Edit Material, go to its texture and select the color and do a reload of the texture and you notice that yep the logo has been removed and we need to include a bump texture which is uh, the normal map that is uh, included in our exported uh, texture folder click open to include the bump or normal map texture into the bump channel okay you can go to the bump section to change things like the bump height make sure that you have the normal map option enabled for the normal map to work okay Okay, I think the general setting for the human guy has been um, established. Of course, you can do some fine fine tuning, uh, but I not want to go into that detail in this short video. And with that, I come to the end of this demo.
hope that's been useful see you bye